I don't know about you guys, but I am constantly looking for new people to watch on YouTube, whether it's Warzone content or funny videos or whatnot. And there's a bunch of people out there who make Warzone videos and Call of Duty videos. And this guy has really blown up in the last like few months. His name's Loom and he's got 17,000 subscribers as of recording right now. He does a lot of certain destroy and uh, cool videos on like Warzone and stuff. And this video is titled The Odyssean Tundra in Warzone. So this guy has found out how to get like like these awesome camos in Cold War, but like in Call of Duty Warzone and Modern Warfare multiplayer. And just looking down at all of his videos, he's done it for like every single video and he still hasn't uploaded a tutorial on how to do it. I really wanna know how he's getting these camos because obviously a lot of people are watching these videos they wanna know as well. They have to be unlockable in Modern Warfare and Warzone because it, it's clearly playable with it. You can obviously get it. They just haven't like flipped the switch or whatnot, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be watching it. This is the Odyssean Tundra in war zone let's get into it so the tundra with odyssean i don't know if it looks really CEO. cool or really Jesus weird <laughs> but it definitely there looks was, interesting i just I wish like there's a tutorial on, like how to Pretty get it because i've low. looked it up and i can't really find it but uh this guy's really good at modern warfare that and war zone and stuff it's crazy bro I really started watching him for his search and destroy content. He's been some pretty good search and destroy videos. But just look at the camos on like all the guns. It looks pretty good. I've never liked the tundra or the Pelantin in nice war zone. It's kind of it's kind of wonky. It's kind of clunky. It's kind of weird. Actually, He's getting some shots with it though. You gotta respect the shots. What is this problem? Ooh, that was nice. Oh, hold. that shot was crazy. That was a nasty shot too. Oh man, very moving. He plays controller, but his sensitivity is insane. Like he's flying all over the place. I might have to try the tundra, man. I watch these videos and I just get like. I just get motivated oh, to the use them, even though yeah, I never do, because I suck at them. Ten kills. I think this is Resurgence quads. Oh, Easy games, boys. So there's Odyssean, and then there's the purple one. Uh, Dark Matter, I think. Yeah, I really like Dark Matter. Oh, such a nice shot. Like that's the Dark Matter. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong, but I really like Dark Matter. Ooh. Nah, just uninstalled. Just get off the gate. Yeah, after that jump shot. That was nice. He's deadly with it, man. Deadly and dangerous. Yeah, this is a guy who's really blown up the last couple months uh, just for Modern Warfare Warzone content, which is really cool to see. I mean, you don't see many people blow up on Call of Duty anymore. But Warzone, obviously, is has really added to the content, really. I just wish he'd drop a tutorial on how I can gone. unlock this to have it. These camos are so nice. I never got them on Cold War though, so I might need to do that. If they had to, if you guys had to use one gun for sniping on Warzone, yes. besides the Car 98, what would it be? I think I would have to use either the Pelanton or maybe the SPR for Modern Warfare. SPR is pretty good. Tundra's is so wonky for me. I could never get a good shot with it, but he's making me want to try it. He's making me want to attempt it. Oh, was that a headshot? Get it, get it, get it. Hang on, I hit my guns in, bro. What? There's no way it's gonna take three shots with a sniper just to break his armor. Oh, let me grab that. Why would you try to push with a pistol? Why would you even attempt it? Can't run through the door. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. I have no plates. Oh, it could have been an easy shot, man. You should hit that. There it is. I didn't move, bro. Oh, God. No way. Oof, that would have been, been nasty. Crack. He's kind of... He's kind of... Oof. Got a little bit left. Ah. I don't play Rebirth too much. I just don't enjoy it as much back. as the Verdance because yeah. they always have weird no, game no, modes. They, they don't have normal Warzone in Rebirth. It's always like Resurgence, Quads, or Trios. I wish they would just put normal, like, solo Warzone on Rebirth or something. Like, it's always some oh, random great. game mode. So dead. Rebirth, the map is not bad, but... The way that they have it set up, where there's never like solos, Stop. it's always well, like resurgence oh, or dude, something. Uh, I just don't like that. Uh, and uh, they always they have, have like be mini be royale on Rebirth. Yeah, Why would you need mini way. royale? The map is smaller than Verdansk. Put mini royale on normal Verdansk. Ah. Uh. I don't know, man. They they could do so much more with Warzone to make it better, but they're gonna do whatever they want, I guess. Oof, that's nice. Ooh, the Barret. The big, the best gun in the game. <laughs> Do anyone actually unironically okay, use the Barret? I have enjoyed the video so far. I just quickly want to apologize that I am sick, so I do sound a little fuzzy right now. But hopefully I'll be feeling better in a few days. And for today's He's video, I decided to use the Obsidian Tundra on Warzone or Rebirth mind. Island. I had a lot of fun using it. It's damage and then the rest of them. Okay, the so this is this class setup. Fast Mag, Serpent, Marathon. Custom. That's pretty good. I don't. I don't really understand the attachments from Cold War weapons in Warzone. Like when you put the when you put the Tiger Team barrel and the Tiger Team spotlight on a gun in Warzone, does it really do anything? Like I don't think the attachments. I don't think the stats for the attachments actually transfer over to Warzone. It's just broken. I think. So it balances it out a little bit. I'm a really aggressive player. Hmm. I do like the PPSH. Using the thumper. You gotta give it to him. The thumper. Okay. Nice to see that I'm not the only one who struggles with, uh, with freaking, uh, recoil. What do you guys think is the best controller player that you watch? Obviously, Fugitives is a really good controller player, but there's a bunch of people who play controller. Bams is a sh Bams is an insane controller player on like uh, Cold War all of her multiplayer. As far as Warzone though, I don't really know. Dude. I like the L96. I, I think that's a cool gamer tag to have. I might have to try the Tundra app, boys. I mean, this, this might be making me want to play it. It's clean. Well, guys, that was it. That was Loom's new video, Odyssean with the Tundra. I really want to know how he does it. I really want to know how he gets it. Let me know in the comments who we should watch next. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. And make sure you try out E-Advantage. It's an awesome gaming supplement that's better than G Fuel because you just take one before you play, get you cracked out, get your aim locked in, you hit those shots. Use code LUGS for a discount. Other than that, I am out. Deuces.